right now. Hey, welcome back. Welcome back. Hey, you're welcome to call in tonight, 737 plus. That's 737-7587. We'd love to take your calls and listen to what any comments that you have or questions. Also, I want to announce the winners. I'm just going to call out your name. And remember, I will call you. Don't, no need to call in. We'll, we'll talk to you tomorrow about how to pick up your prizes. And that is uh, Robbie Borgie, Terry Booth, uh, Jewel Jones, Marilyn Sterrett is a winner. Cynthia Archer, Zonda Wilson, and Emily Parson. Congratulations, you were the winners of all of the prizes that we gave out, and uh, we'll be calling you tomorrow to tell you how you can pick those up. Well, we'll get right to it. It's about that time to talk about rugs and also fire pits, and I'm so excited to talk to my guest coming up actually making his debut nicholas sumner is here from nashville rug gallery we're so glad to have you thank you for having us Pleasure and to be here. Um, william sunquist is back from general shell glad to be back and glad to be here on winner's night oh yeah that's right <laughs> on the winner's night well you know both of you actually donated right. um so some of these winners um they're actually going to be lucky recipients of not only the rugs but also a fire pit so let's get started uh nicholas i you know most of the people who came by the home decorating remodeling show saw that i was using your fabulous rugs now Thank just you. tell us a little bit about your company your business and what do you do oh sure Nashville rug gallery we um, have been in business for many years we've actually had operations in Turkey for now a little bit going on our 13th year uh, we're in Nepal for about four years now and we just started uh, operations in India the past year for our more cost-effective uh, rugs but we do a lot of full stocking rugs we bring in a lot of antiques from Turkey mm -hmm. um, so we have a wide assortment of rugs and handmade rugs we've actually even started our flat weave section coming out of India right now and I love that because you're actually the weaver and I don't know that and we're gonna talk about you know you know you're mm. you're more than just you don't just buy the rugs you actually are there producing and we're gonna talk a lot about that and you're gonna actually show us some pictures of how that's done because I don't think that people generally know how those are actually made so we're gonna be talking right. more with you and also William you're yes. back and hey we yeah. know that you do that beautiful stone yeah. and the brick and we showed the thin stone and the thin brick, but tell us, uh, for anybody that maybe didn't see you, tell me about your company. Yes, General Shale, of course, we're in our 85th year. Uh, started up in the Tri-Cities area, and now have, have grown uh, nationally. Uh, but many people probably know us for our brick, obviously General Shale brick, but we've also been manufacturing concrete products for about 60 years as well. Uh, and from those concrete products we manufacture, you'll see we'll have some of these outdoor kits that you can put in your backyard that really kind of enhance your outdoor living space. And see, I love that. And you and I were talking about that. And we're going to show, it's amazing. I wanted you to demonstrate. You told me that you could put <laughs> these together in 15 minutes. Now, next time you come on the show, you're not getting by that easily. I'm going to make you put it together and <laughs> prove it. I know. Well, I was <laughs> flying back across country the other day, and I sat, sat a little wrong in the seat. So. Uh, oh, you decided not <laughs> yeah. to bring Oh, all right. I'm blaming right. the airlines, right? Mm, that's, right. That's blame the airlines. Blame, blame the, the airlines. airlines. Well, Nicholas, um, we yes. are going to talk to you about just details of what really get down to the business of what you do and we've also got some pictures to show Good. so let's get right to that and you can tell me um, what it is that you know uh, tell me the process to create these beautiful rugs oh sure um, we really begin uh, sometimes with a hand graph uh, if we're doing a custom rug mm -hmm. And now we've actually, on, on this photo here, we're actually bringing wool in that we're going to scour, we're going to clean the wool, and get it ready to do the dye process. And what kind of wool is this? Uh, we actually use several different types of wool. Sometimes we'll use a hand-spun Tibetan wool that we source there in Nepal. Okay. Uh, sometimes we'll use like a Sardinia wool, we'll use a Merlano wool, a Lincoln wool. It just depends on what type of rug we're trying to create. And that's the, what we need to use, the okay. type of wool. Okay, great. And then, um, so we've got some more pictures here. Now, what are we seeing here? Here, we're actually scouring the uh, wool. This is at our factory. Uh, we have our, we buy the wool by the metric ton, and then we come, we bring it in, we clean it, we scour it, we get it ready for the 
people to do our hand spinning of the wool. And after that, we'll proceed to the dye operation. Right here, we're seeing actually the wool that has already been hand spun, has already been dyed, and you see all these beautiful colors from indigo to terracottas to even a lavender. That is unusual. I, I, you know, generally, I don't think you see these many, this many uh, brilliant colors, and Correct. you and I are going to be talking more about that because you're choosing these colors, and, and they're Absolutely. really coming back in. This is beautiful. Yeah, this is just an expanded view of our showroom. As you can tell, we're a stickler for detail uh, and organization. I try to uh, have that all the way through Turkey, through Nepal, and also through India, where we streamline the operation. Okay, that is awesome. And this is? Uh, this is actually me. I'm in front of the, uh, one of the looms that we have in Turkey. Uh, there we're actually weaving a Ushak reproduction. We've been known for the past 13 years to weave new mm -hmm. made to look old Turkish Ushaks. And that's our, one of our specialties. That is amazing. And I love, I, we're going to talk more about that, but I understand that we have, Martin is on the phone. We're so glad to have you call in, Martin. Uh, well, what is your... I just want to make some comments. I had, uh, uh, I had my family up, uh, some from Houston and Boston and, uh, and uh, the West Coast, and they were visiting Nashville. We took them to Cheekwood and, uh, and, and took them down to the Frist. And I also took them to uh, Nicholas Summers' uh, rug gallery. And uh, because he is so knowledgeable, actually extremely knowledgeable regarding rugs and and you know how to weave, etc. And um, it's you know he knows about the the history of the rugs and the culture involved, etc. He's very articulate and knowledgeable. Uh, I had my designer wanted me to later wanted me to um, bring rug, rugs up. She wanted to bring rugs up from Atlanta, and I told him, well, why don't we try a natural rug gallery instead? They have a dollar dollar for dollar trade in a great selection of rugs and. And I thought, you know, it's much more convenient to support Nashville, you know? Absolutely. I think, you know, that's one thing that we talk about on the show all the time is that we have the local resources. And I think that once you uh, figure out, too, that you can go to the showroom and see everything that Nicholas has. Thank you so much, Martin, for calling in and letting us know about that. We always like to bring you the best resources and the finest right here in Middle Tennessee. And thank you so much for calling in and letting us know. Well, William, we've got some pictures now. Okay, you said that even if I'm the beginner, like I, I can see myself building this. My husband yeah. would be so impressed. Yeah. So, so tell me a little bit about what we're going to see. This is actually a progression of, you know, it the is, beginners. Yeah, the, we have the kits and, you know, beginner, eating, er, intermediate, and expert. And, of course, those expert kits we'll see later. Those are the ones that you like to put together. Yeah, those but, <laughs> <laughs> we, can start, okay. we can start with the nice beginner kits here. You can see this is just a nice, uh, simple, round fireplace. And the wonderful thing about these kits are the price points. You know, they start anywhere from $250 to $300 uh, and can go up to about $3,500, a little less than $4,000, which is not much money when you're pricing oh, that's out, a, outdoor living kits. Oh, I think yeah. that's uh, excellent, and they're so beautiful. Now, are you saying that we don't need mortar in between this? Uh, you wouldn't necessarily have to put mortar in something at this small right here when you get okay. to the larger ones the kits actually okay have the they tile do have that the tile and then in. they yes. have the instructions in there the instructions come in there it's step by step okay. uh, it guides you through the whole process with pictures and now words this is and a numbers. bench this is our, our nice gathering bench right here and you, you know, this, this would not be good if you didn't follow the instructions. You know, some guys do not <laughs> like to follow the instructions. Well, at, at some point you'd have to. Let's put, let's put it that way. <laughs> uh, here's your nice uh, wood box. And this can actually, uh, some of our kits are interchangeable. This can kind of go up to one of the other kits we'll see here in a little bit uh, later on in the show. Uh, here's our nice Oasis water, one of our Oasis water features. Uh, that you can put out there in your backyard. Now, so it would come with everything you need, even the pump and everything pump, would be in that kit. Yes, the pump, the rocks, everything you see there. Even this one's really neat right here because if you can kind of see on TV the little light, the neon light behind there, so it kind of oh, lights yeah, so up that water. Oh, so it actually has the yeah. light with it. Absolutely, kind of gives uh, your back door space a nice little uh, touch. Well, you tell me a little bit now. You showed me a picture of uh, the one that you have in your backyard, and, yep. and did you put that one together? I, I absolutely did. Yeah, I've put that together and taken them apart many times for home shows. But I, I kind of okay. lit a fire last night to kind of get in the mood here and prepare myself. For <laughs> oh, see show. now, I love that. I love that. Get in the mood. <laughs> so you got to get in the mood. You got when you turn us on, you got to get in the mood because we have fun here, and it's all warm and inviting.
Oh, well, we are going to talk more with you, Nicholas. Um, you know, not only do you weave the rugs, but how do you pick the rugs and, and everything that you that you bring to your showroom? We have not mentioned, but you have a showroom right here in Nashville. Tell us a little bit about that, too. Yes, absolutely. We're located at 4302 Kennelwood Drive. We're right beside Nashville Armory or right down the street from Mr. T's patio. Okay. Okay. So right there by the interstate. Uh -huh. And we actually have our own picking crews um, throughout Turkey and the greater Middle East. Okay. Um, we have been, actually a close friend of mine has gone back to Turkey uh, to look to facilitate the purchase of about 100 antique rugs, nine by 12 and larger. And he's gonna work in conjunction at our weaving facility there because we've, we're doing something a little different than dealers out of New York or Atlanta do. Um, we actually have all the pickers come to us. They actually bring us the antique rugs and we pay them cash right there on the spot. So it's a little bit different than what was done before by check um, and things of that nature. Uh, but as far as weaving, we have, uh, like I said, operations from Turkey to Nepal and India and have been thrilled during this past recession to actually expand. Uh, whereas other companies have regressed, uh, we've actually expanded and put basically every dollar back into our operations. So we're extremely blessed beyond belief to be there. And you know what I think that that means for our viewers is that means that they're, the selection is unbelievable. When you go over to his showroom, you will not believe the colors. And I was so excited about the vivid colors correct. that were coming in and that that's something that you're selecting to have made, correct? That is correct. And because we're in so many different states, we operate from Cincinnati all the way down to New Orleans and everywhere in between, we can kind of adjust for colors. In other words, what I'm trying to say is that we have a wide variety of colors for the national market. Whereas some things may come and go, uh, we tend to have things that stay in the market for a very long time. And we're starting to see color come back. I mean, we, we have seen previously a lots of grays, but now we're starting to see a lot of avocados, uh, terracottas, uh, even purple or lavender. So it's very interesting how the color trends are starting to shape up now. Even emerald green, we've, we've done a, a huge selection of cotans, uh, actually back in uh, Turkey, of emerald green. So. That's, uh, I love that. I love the fact that new, brighter colors are coming in and uh, that we have that selection. And you also yes. have rugs, and we'll talk a little bit more about this too, that he actually has rugs that you can just, it's cash and carry. You can literally walk in, mm -hmm. take out, they will bring them out to your house as well. Well, coming up, I'm going to tell you how you can train your ivy. You know, all you need are some snippers, a little pot of ivy. You can create a topiary. That's coming up after the break.